today we are going to be solving equations by looking at a couple applications here. <coughs> and these are just going to be one, two-step equations that we've already worked on in the past. Okay, so first thing it says, you must write an equation first and then show your steps. That would be the proof of how you actually solve this. So number one says, Carl weighs 115 pounds and he needs to gain weight. He gains two pounds per week, x. Write an equation that will help you determine how many weeks it will take to weigh y pounds. Okay, so let's think about what our initial value is and what our constant rate of change is. What keeps happening over and over and over? He gains two pounds per week. That's what keeps happening over and over and over. That's our constant rate of change. And remember, that's also our slope. Okay, and then what's the initial value? What did Carl start off weighing? He started off weighing 115 pounds. That's the initial value, which we also know is the B, the y-intercept. Okay, it does tell me to use y and it does tell me to use x, so it's going to be y equals, he starts off with 115 pounds, and then he's gaining 2 pounds per week on top of that. So plus 2 pounds every week x, 2x. And of course, you could always write this in slope-intercept form, where you have the y equals, you put the 2x first, and the positive 115 in the back. Either one of those would be just fine. Okay, number two says, how many weeks will it take him to weigh 141 pounds? So I'm figuring out how many weeks. Which letter was weeks? Oh, up here you see that week is x. So I'm trying to solve the equation for x. So that means this 141 pounds, that would be the y. So I'm going to put 141 into the y, and I'm going to recopy my equation. And like I said, it doesn't matter which equation you use, because they're the same thing. Okay, if I solve for x, then I'll know how many weeks it takes him. So let me circle everything smushed with my x. Whatever's outside the circle, I add or subtract. So to get rid of that positive 115, I'm going to subtract 115 from both sides. <coughs> the 2x is going to drop down. The equals is going to drop down. Now I need to figure out what 141 minus 115 is, and that is 26. And then I undo multiplication with division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And how much is 26 divided by 2? 13. So it's going to take him 13 weeks to get to the 141 pounds. Most of us try to lose weight, but not Carl. He wants to gain it. Okay, let's look at this next one. It says, Miranda borrowed money from her parents for One Direction tickets. I think we've seen this problem before. She's paying back her parents $9 each month, X, she borrowed $108 from her parents. Write an equation that will determine how much money Y she still owes her parents. Okay, so we're using X and Y again. So what keeps happening over and over and over? She's paying her parents $9 each month. That's the constant rate of change, or the slope. Okay, what's the initial value? What'd she start off with? Well, she started off having to borrow $108 from her parents. That's the initial value. That's the y-intercept, the b. Okay, so y is how much she still owes her parents. So y equals how much she owes her parents equals. So let's talk about this initial value. If she borrows $108, that's not her money. So this is a negative 108 because she owes that money. But the fact that she's paying her parents $9 every single month, that's her money, so it is a positive 9x. And of course, I could always have this written around in the other way. I could have the positive 9x first, and I can have this minus 108 in the back. Either way, these equations mean the same thing. It's just this one happens to be in slope-intercept form. Okay, number four says, how many weeks will it take Miranda to pay her parents back? So how many weeks will it take Miranda to pay her parents back? 
Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how many weeks again. Which letter is talking about how many weeks? And we're trying to figure out um, how long it's going to take in order to pay our parents back. So let's just talk about paying her parents back for a second. If she's going to pay her parents back, how much would she owe them? Zero dollars. So if she paid her parents back, she would owe them zero dollars. Well, if she owed them zero dollars, where do you think we'd put the zero? Into the X or into the Y? Well, Y is what she owes, and so if she owes zero dollars, then we're going to put zero into the Y. So I'm going to put zero right there into that Y, and then I'm going to recopy my equation. Okay, and then to solve this, I'm going to circle everything smushed with my X, and then to get rid of a minus 108, I'm going to add 108 to both sides. The 9x to drop down, the equals drops down, 0 plus 108 is 108. And then I undo my multiplication here by dividing, so I'm going to divide both sides by 9. And then I just have to figure out what 108 divided by 9 is, and it is 12. Now, we do have a little bit of a typo here, I noticed. She is paying her parents back $9 every month. And so X is talking about months, and this says how many weeks. So this is how many months it takes. And so I'm going to write 12 months. And since the question says how many weeks, it's really hard to say because some months have four weeks in them and some months have five weeks in them. So I think that this is a typo, how many weeks. I really think that this should say how many months. So I'm going to answer this question in terms of months. It takes her 12 months to pay her parents back, which should make sense. She's paying them $9 every month. So 12 months of paying $9, she will have paid them the $108 that she borrowed, and then that means that she owes them $0. Okay, so these are the notes. And then I'm going to give you some problems to do on the assignment as well. So I just want to start off doing one of these problems on the assignment. So this is like a continuation of the, the notes, and then you will be responsible for trying to complete the rest of this. Okay, so this says, Cindy has a $35 gift card from Cinemark. Every time she sees a movie, eight fifty dollars is deducted from the card. Okay, we want to try to write an equation, and it says y equals, so I guess we'll use y for certain. I may not use x, I may use something different. So she has a $35 gift card from Cinemark, and then every time she sees a movie, 850 is deducted from the card. Well, since 850 is getting deducted every single time from the card, then this right here is our constant rate of change. This is our slope. And the fact that she started off with a $35 gift card, that's the initial value. That's the B. Okay, so I'm going to start with the initial value. She has $35. And then every time she sees a movie, 850 is deducted. So would I add or subtract? Subtract. I'm going to subtract 850 every single time she sees a movie. And I'm going to use M for movie, but you could definitely use X. And of course, I could rewrite this. I'm just going to show you how I could rewrite it. I could have Y equals, I could have the negative 0.850M first, and then I could have the plus 35 in the back or I can leave it how I wrote it to begin with. It really doesn't matter. Okay, now let's look at this problem. It says Cindy has $9.50 left on the card. How many times has she gone to the movie? So I'm trying to figure out how many times she's gone to the movie. So what letter am I trying to solve for? I'm trying to solve for M. M stands for how many times she's gone to the movie. That's what I want to know. So I want to solve this equation for M. So the fact that she has $9.50 left on the card that's going to go into y. So I'm going to put 950 where the y is. <clears throat> I'm going to recopy the equals 35 minus 850m 
And of course, I could have this in slope intercept form also. Okay, I'm trying to solve for m, so I'm going to circle everything smushed with it. I include that little negative in my circle. I want to get rid of my positive 35, so I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides. The minus 850m will come down. The equals will come down. And I'm just going to grab my calculator real quick, and I'm going to take 950 minus 35, oops, 950 minus 35, which makes a negative 2550. And then I undo my multiplication with division, so I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 8.50. These boxes are pretty tiny, so we have to write small. So negative 2550 divided by a negative 8.50 makes 3. m equals 3. So then I just want to talk about what that means. Well, she's gone to the movie three times. And that's our answer. If she has 950 still left on her card, she's been to the movie three times. Okay. So I want you to try to finish the rest of this, except for I'm going to have us get rid of this alphabet problem. And so that leaves you with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six problems left to do. And let's see how you do with that. All right, thank you. Smiley face.